So in some of my previous videos, I went over Easy Drummer, Addictive Drums, setting up multiple outputs in Logic Pro. Today we're gonna cover battery. Now there is a couple problems with this as well, so we'll talk about those too. So let's check it out. So when you're working with Native Instruments battery, you wanna open your plugin. You could open it in multiple outs. There's different settings. We have 5.1 even, if you will. We have 16 mono, 25 mono, eight stereo, eight mono. 16 stereo, 8 stereo, and 12 mono. For this purpose, I'm just going to do 16 stereo, which I already have selected. And then I have my drum kit over here. We want to come down to our mixer and just open up all these different channels like so. And now we have all the channels separated. And we can label these if we want, but give us a second here. We'll get to that in a second. So back up here in battery, we have our kick drum and our different samples, if you will. Now, the trick is to do this. Click on here and then go to output. Then we have a master, we have bus options, and we have direct out. The master is the master out of battery here. The buses, we have four drum buses here as well. But we want to do our routing. So what we got to do is come to our directs outs. One and two is going to be the main out for everything. So I'm just going to go to three and four for the kick. There's another kick here. So we'll go to three and four. Snares, we'll do five and six. And so on and so forth with your different sounds. Unfortunately, this is a little time consuming and there's no quick way to do it in battery. Let's close that up. Let's go back to our mixer here. And then we have our kick here. We can label these. I'm not gonna do it because I just wanna save time for the video. But we can label them. And then I wanna select this, which is where the battery for is, the instrument. I'm gonna go select all these outputs, highlight them all. I'm just hitting shift and clicking on all of these. And then I'm gonna go over here and create a track. And that's gonna show up in my range window. And I'm gonna select these again and create a track stack. So I'm gonna hit Command Shift D and I'm gonna hit make a summing stack. And then we have all these grouped together in here. We'll call these drums. And then we have all these different uh, parameters. Of course, you could make these fancy looking and everything, put kick drum on here. Again, I'm not gonna do that for this purpose of this demo. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but you can. And then we have our MIDI sequence here. And then the mixer, we can get crazy. We can, you know, do stuff to the snare. Maybe we want to put a big crusher on there, some reverb. And whatever. Now, another tip, if you start with it in mono, or not mono, but if you start, say so you have it in the stereo plugin version open here, as I do right now, and I have this kit loaded. I can just go over here and switch to my output and the kit will stay the same. I do believe you have to have auto save on or save the file because sometimes if you do it too quickly, it will not work. But say you're producing a song, you say, you know, oh, I want to make all multiple outputs. You just do it that way. Now, two extra things. We can save this down here as a patch for ourselves for future use. And then we have it all good to go. And the downside, not the downside, but the unfortunate thing is once we change the drum kit up here, our outputs change. So that is something you want to be aware of. It is unfortunate because it takes it's very time consuming, especially with bigger kits. This is a small kit, but it can take a long time. If you use a kit, you know, a lot, maybe set it up once and you're good to go. But that is a downside. So I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Check around, floating around. There's a bunch of other videos on the screen right now. If you're watching on YouTube, other platforms, check the link in the video description below. 
uh, for more stuff. And that is all for now. I will talk to you soon.